For the truth is, there are still plenty of risks out there. Our biggest trading partner, the Eurozone, is still weak. And there are fears about slowing growth in emerging economies further afield. Here at home, the banking system is still not working as we need it to do, so we're still fixing it. And we've got to do even more to encourage the exports and the investment and the saving our economy needs for a responsible recovery. Above all, we've still got a huge amount to do to reduce the deficit and to get our debts falling. And it's worth remembering, as the festive season comes to an end, that our own independent office for budget responsibility is predicting a slowing of quarterly GDP growth this year. So it is far too soon to say, job done. It's not even half done. That's why 2014 is the year of hard truths, the year when Britain faces a choice. Do we say the worst is over? Back we go to our bad habits of borrowing and spending and living beyond our means and let the next generation pay the bill? Or do we say to ourselves, yes, because of our plan, things are getting better, but there is still a long way to go and there are big underlying problems we have to fix in our economy. More repairs, more cuts, more difficult decisions. That's the choice in 2014, to go on working through a plan that is delivering for Britain, putting us back in control of our destiny with the security and peace of mind that brings, or squander what we've achieved and go back to economic ruin.